Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? Before we start, gorgeous, gorgeous meets gorgeous. Oh, this is the amulet for each of the zodiac. It's already out and about slaying and it's not even Christmas. Okay, so sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? Okay, so this is what you should be looking at right now. Okay, so check it out. I'll put it in the description box below. It is gorgeous. It's for each of the zodiac. You can get from your sun, ascendant, or moon sign. But do help yourself. Okay, so let's begin here without further ado for the Virgos. I'll talk about the fountain of wealth over here that keeps giving us gravy boat vibes. Gravy boat. Okay. I put chocolate in it, cheese. Okay. No, it's a fountain. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Bum, 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 bum. What is, oh, oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I got it, I got it, I got it, Virgo. You're stressing, I feel, nine of swords with the six of cups over here. Nine of swords, six of cups. Um, It feels like you're stressing about a reconciliation, okay? You're stressing because the, um, the person that you're connecting with is quite, uh, you know, it's hard to handle. Okay. Um, it they give you this whole um, feeling of um, like, am I doing something wrong? Because you make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, there. They make you feel stressed by your action. You know, like let's just say everything was fine, and they they throw attitude. Because this is what I'm feeling here with the Nine of Swords. Like, why do I deserve something like this? You know, and it builds up though, because you can be very critical to yourself. Okay, guys, give me one second. I just want to, because there's some buzzing going on. I would ask them to please uh, um, shut the freezer. Okay, one second, guys. I have to tell them. One second, guys. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. It just keeps buzzing, and hopefully, the heavens above got my message. Okay. So the nine of swords and the um, the six of cups. Uh, it feels like um, one. Um, you know, the stress is here, and then the six of cups is here. Um, you know, you're stressed about their actions, you're stressed about what they do and what they don't do. Um, it feels like you, you know, you, you and this person have a tendency to, um, like, am I doing my best or am I, you know, like that. Nine of Swords with the Six of Cups, like this. Because like, there's love, there's emotions, there are feelings, and... It just restrates you. It's just like, why do I have to be... Like, they can be judgy. They can also be like looking at you right now. Where it's just like, I thought you loved me. I thought you care about me. But why treat me this way? You know, that's the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is very loving. But you just feel a frustration. Nine of Swords. Because the first card is always the strongest for me. So you're frustrated about your soulmate. You see? Frustration. Feeling oppressed. With a ten of wands. Okay. So it's like, why now? You know, like, why is this happening? What is this, uh, you know, like, why bring this topic? Why, why create this commotion? And the two of you always shares those, like, uh, I feel like frustration in each other. So there will be good conversations with the Six of Cups and then bang. Upset, mad with each other. See? And then bang again. We're back in the same page, loving each other, mm -hmm. caring for each other. And <laughs> you get tired of this at some point. You have the Eight of Cups and the Lovers. You get tired, you get frustrated. You say, it's like, you know what? If this is what it means to be in a connection such as this, I am out. You feel like you're so, you're just so tired with your, um, with your soulmate. 
You're just tired. Okay. The devil, you see, for the frustration, the sun is here. Like, why can't we just have a regular day where there is no confusion, there is no hate? Like, you get stuck in this cycle. Nine of swords with the devil. You see that? Like, I'm just stuck here. Okay, always being optimistic, though, with the sun and the six of cups. Okay. Okay. Um, with the sun and the six of cups, it feels like, yeah, Um. Uh. how to say this? Six of Cups with the Sun card. You see here that we always try to see the good in each other. But then, you know, every time I see them, it's just like there are things that I wish I never know about them. There are things that I wish that they never do. Because you see them. You see through their soul. And when, every time you see them, it's like Seven of Cups. You see like, well, they're always lying. They're always doing this. They're always doing that. Seven of Cups. And then there's a Ten of Wands. So you see all through their lies, and Nine of Pentacles with the Two of Cups, where you're a person who's, um, I feel like the, you know, you're strong, you're stable, you're independent, and there's no need for you to deal with this. Does it make sense? It's like, this is not my drama, this is not my problem. You see that? And then the King of Cups and the, uh, the Eight of Cups, okay, the King and the Eight of Cups, this is you. It's like, it's like, no, don't tell me like you care about me. Don't care you love me. It's just like, it's this is get this thing is just tiring. Okay. Because you see through them. You got the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Judgment, and the Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. You see, you see through them, and it scares you, it frustrates you that you can't do, you can't change them, and you're aware of that. Like, we cannot change people. They are who they are. Basically, um, judgment and seven of cups over here. You want to make things clear with them. You know, you want them shook it. You want them to wake up. You want them to, if it's them stepping up, it's like, why don't you just do this right? You know, like that. And then the fourth ones, I mean, we already have the relationship. We already have this. Uh, like, we already solve a lot of things. But why bring me, they're always bringing you, um, six of Pentacles with a the devil. They're always bringing you situation that makes you frustrated, Nine of Swords, because you just know, like, well, here we go. They're going to lie again. Seven of Cups. And I told them, never do that again. Mm -hmm. So now you're becoming a Queen of Swords, which means, like, you're drawing the line now. You're saying here, it's like, well, this is it. I cannot allow this anymore. Mm-hmm. So something like that. You're really putting your feet on the ground now. Okay, so let me continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below for the extended. For everybody who wants, wants to know what's going to happen to them for the Mercury retrograde that is happening. Um, which of course, it's your Lagna Lord if you're a Virgo Ascendant. Um, I will send out my newsletter, which is totally free. That's coming Monday. I already did the do's and don'ts for the eclipse. And this Monday, I will, I will share with you guys for the Mercury retrograde for each of the Zodiac. By signing up to my newsletter at my website, eatreadlove.me, it's 100% free, all this newsletter that we give out as information. So you go to our website, you scroll down, you will see there, sign me up, and you'll get your weekly horoscope. There are other things that I also talk about in astrology over there. Now, do check out our wonderful um, um, mystical fountain over here, the Fountain of Wealth. Our new line of diffuser is also out. There's three new additional to our selection, so it's a definitely must-see. And everything that you need is at eatreadlove.me, the number one store, the only store that you should be shopping for anything metaphysical. I'll see you guys again. Bye.